Hello Nurs, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about law of segregation. In the law of segregation, the segregation means to separate. It means that something is going to be separated from each other. So what actually that thing is which is going to be separated? These are actually alleles. The alleles, they are the partners of a gene pair. We know a gene is a sequence of nucleotide or a segment of DNA which is going to control a particular trait. That trait can be your eye color, your hair color, your height or in case of plants it can be the height of plant, the color of their leaf, the shape of their leaf, the shape of their seed. Any characteristic is going to be controlled by the gene. Now the gene has partners. Alleles they are actually present on the homologous chromosome so this is one homologous chromosome this is another homologous chromosome one chromosome is coming from the mother and one chromosome is coming from the father so each homologous chromosome is going to get an allele for a particular trait so here we can see that this is small b and this is capital b so these two are the alleles for a particular trait the law of segregation was first proposed by the mendel when he was studying the pea plant so he studied the characteristics of the pea plant and gave the law of segregation now according to this law the two coexisting alleles here we can see these are the one and this is two these are coexisting alleles for each trait for example we say that this b allele these are controlling for example eye color okay so we say okay the eye colors is going to be controlled by these alleles so these two coexisting alleles for each trait in an individual are going to segregate or separate from each other at meiosis we know during the process of meiosis the homologous chromosomes they are separated from each other so what will happen that one allele will go into one cell or the gamete and the other allele it will go to other cell or gamete so that each gamete receive only one of the two alleles so here we can see we have rr which is a round shaped seed for example this is a plant and this plant is producing round shaped seed while here we have a plant which is producing wrinkle shaped seed the alleles which are controlling round shaped seed are capital r capital r this is just like here we have this r at one homologous chromosome and r at another homologous chromosome so during the process of meiosis these are going to be separate from each other one r will go to one gamete the other r it will go to another gamete similarly here small r and small r they are representing the trait which is wrinkle shaped so this small r will go to one gamete and this small r it will go to another gamete as we are studying just one trait that is why we will say this is a mono hybrid cross mono hybrid mean that only one trait is studied and in this case it is the shape of the seed so what will happen that during the process of meiosis the alleles they are going to be separated from each other into the gamete so this is the law of segregation that during the process of meiosis the coexisting alleles they are going to be separated from each other so here we can see that this was the homologous chromosome so one homologous chromosome having small r will go into one gamete and the other homologous chromosome having the small r allele will go to another gamete so this is law of segregation now what happened that alleles they unite again at random fertilization of gametes when zygote is formed so for example we have this female plant and we have this male plant they both are producing their gametes now in the random fertilization what is actually the random fertilization that the gamete out of these two gametes any gamete can fuse with any of this gamete for example 
this gamete having capital R is going to fuse with this small one. So we will have a zygote having capital R and small r. It means that one allele from the female and the other allele from the male, they are going to be united in the zygote, just like I told you here. So this is going to be another plant. Similarly, this gamete, it can also fuse with the second gamete because this is a random fertilization so they can randomly fuse with any of the two gametes so we will have another plant having capital R and small r characteristic similarly the second gamete it can also fuse with this male gamete and we will have capital R and small r and it can also fuse with the other gamete from the male parent and we will have this capital R and small r now the one thing is that here we have this F1 generation while this one was P1 generation. P1 means that parent generation and this is F1 generation. It means first filial generation. It means that from the parents the first generation which is produced is known as F1 generation. And here we can see that we have capital R and small r alleles. When there are two different alleles for one particular trait we will call it heterozygous and if both the alleles are same we will call it homozygous homo means same and hetero mean different as we can see that all these plants they have the same allele combination so all these plants they are going to be round shaped plants so if i take just two plants one plant from here and the one plant from here and then i cross these two plants what will happen again the gamete formation will take place by the process of meiosis this one allele will go into one gamete the small allele will go into another gamete similarly for this plant this capital R it will go to one gamete and this small r will go to another gamete and then again the random fertilization it will take place and we will have the capital R fusing with the capital R this is from one parent and this is from another parent and capital R fusing with the small r similarly the small r fusing with capital R sorry here we have capital R and small r like this and similarly the small r is fusing with the small r so we have homozygous combination here so we can see that this combination and this combination are same so we will have round seed as the round seed is a dominant trait and again here capital R it will also be a round seed here capital R means it is going to be round seed while two small r means that we will have the wrinkle shaped seed so in the F2 generation we are going to have the phenotypic ratio of 3 is to 1 why 3 is to 1 because we have three round shape and one wrinkle shape seed or plant so phenotype it represents the traits or appearance so we will have three is to one ratio but if you talk about the genotypic ratio it means that allelic combination we can see that we have only one capital r capital r combination while we have two capital r small r combinations and we have only one small r small r combination so we will have one is to two is to one genotypic ratio so that was all about the law of segregation i hope this lesson is clear to you if you still have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video